Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our campaign through Victoria 3 as the Japanese Shogunate. And the dream of becoming an empire is not there yet. Like we're still working towards removing some power from the Japanese, from the Shogunate as an interest party. And we're doing one thing at a time. At this point we're working towards enacting appointed bureaucrats instead of hereditary. Hereditary providing a lot of power to a lot of power to the shogunate. Basically, it was like 20 or 25 percent. Let's see. So it is 25 percent there. Serfdom we will not be able to remove just yet. Maybe only if they get the shogunate will get the next party leader to be a abolitionist. Right. Let's see. Okay, apparently abolitionist is only has a stance on labor rights and slavery. I'm not sure exactly what we would need to remove serfdom. Who knows? But we're working towards that. We've joined the Russian market, which on one side is good, on the other side I'm not sure. Probably could have done, done more. Revolutionary Heavenly Kingdom has started to stamp our revolution diplomatic play... Oh, they've broken down even further. Revolution Heavenly Kingdom with Heavenly Kingdom with Great Chin. How many armies does the Great Chin have? 104 with another 100 there. They have good relations between each other, which is unfortunate because I would have liked to take on Joseon. How many armies or people do these ones have? Let's see. So is this the revolutionary? Yeah, revolutionary heaven kingdom. 195 battalions. Okay, they have too many battalions for us to, to even think that we would have an impact on them. We need to make more resources and that's what we're working on now we've made the coal mines and expanded on them now we could go further into these businesses let's see paper mills that is not that great yet the motor industries is making steam engines. If I give them water tube, it would require less employees. So, oh, so that's what this does. It's it's not as useful. It would decrease the number of workers needed, thus providing you with a chance to get people hired in other places. But it's not necessarily the best thing you could do. Public trams. Yeah, once again, for the urban centers, doesn't seem like the right way to go. Standardized filing system. I mean, it provides us with a lot of bureaucracy. 1690 and a lot of taxation capacity, but the cost of paper is going to go down. Let's see, where are we wasting most of our taxes? Kansai is the biggest one. If I was to change it in Kansai to a standardized filing system, the price of paper wouldn't go up that much. We would get 455 extra bureaucracy and a bit more taxation capacity. Let's try this out. Raising concern. The intelligentsia have expressed their concern about the government decision to favor the interest of the industrialists. Okay, let's say that this needs to be addressed. Lawmakers working towards the enactment of appointed bu bureaucrats have found themselves mired in a particular complex set of bureaucratic proceedings, grinding the work towards reform to a near halt. Cut through the red tape, reducing the enactment time, but getting a little bit of radicals from the bureaucrats. Yeah, rather than just removing the success and all that, we'll just go and cut through some lines. Let's see. Yeah, now we're starting to get some bureaucracy, but yeah, we're losing money at the same time. Without the butt, yeah. Okay, time to get our steam engines going here. And hopefully the motor industries 
will start making some money. So let's take a look at the buildings. Let's take a look at the motor industry. And it is making money. Steam engine time was successfully completed. That's beautiful. We also unlocked realism, which is great for us. Bureaucracy population cost multiplier minus 5%. That could be good. It's already spreading towards us. Nationalism for more authority could be useful as well. More taxation capacity, but this one would take 11 years. Central banking for extra minting and minus 2 to loan interest. Extra minting would help. And we're minting right now 14.1. Maximum cash reserves or get more infrastructure. Let's do intensive agriculture next. The manufacture of steam engines has become a profitable industry in Kansai thanks to, this, to our sound investment in our locomotives technology. These engines are already being employed across the new Japanese railway lines. All aboard to give more throughput to the railway, more engines, more locomotive for the motor industries. Or we're on track with innovation, get steel railway cars some progress there. I think I would like the throw output, but let's see which one would be the best. So we're making a little money here in Kansai. More throw output wouldn't necessarily improve the price of engines. I'm guessing that the higher prices are being caught on by The railway industry in itself right yes so this is where we're at these buildings seem to be subsidized for or if need be they are being subsidized we could go with wooden passenger carriages which would reduce the price of transportation it would increase the price of wood and it, we would lose some infrastructure from it. I see. So this provides us with how much infrastructure? 20. Getting to the wooden ones. It would reduce our... I guess we could do that. I mean, it seems like it's good money. Yeah, let us do that. The price of timber is not that high and we can reduce the price of transportation and we're gonna do the same right we're gonna continue adding up to the railway just to make it more productive okay which brings us to these businesses right do we want to go higher in tools I feel like we should right I mean, at this point, we're going to make more tools soon. The iron mines are not making a lot of cash. Let's take a look at why. In Shikoku, okay, the price of iron is still down. If I take a look at the buildings, we're gonna wait for a while until we can start doing more. I could prioritize some tooling workshops. Trade convoys, more convoys needed for the British market. Sugar has a very high price. Are we construction, constructing sugar farms anywhere? Not yet. But it's not actually the sugar, is rice farms that could up to that. Let's say that we'll make two of them in Shikoku. Yeah, we're gonna go two levels here in a few territories. Maybe instead of adding them in Kansai and Chubu, we should add them to the edges more. But even these will be good.
I'm having a lot of fun right now trying to figure out like, what is the best way to go forward here, uh, what is the best way to do some supply and demand. Interest group leader retired because he died. Some battalions in the reserves. And that's because one of our generals has died. Let's see if we can get... We have a shogunate, but we don't want to bring him in. We're gonna bring this Buddhist monk to bear. It's gonna cost us a little money, but it's gonna go give the priests, the Buddhist monks, a lot more influence, which is good for us. We decrease the Japanese shogunate clout. If I bring the Buddhist monks in, Okay, it does not help us. Price of opium has dropped apparently. The price of transportation has slightly gone down. Backroom dealings have been exposed. Yeah, we're losing that success to implement. Let's throw them to the wolves. Yeah, all of a sudden, we don't have any chance to implement it and we're gonna continue debating it like you can see here so now there's a bigger chance to either stall or debate no chance of advancement and every time this fills up we will get a one of these events right it's it's a chance to get stall and debate if you anything that you have here every time this fills up it will trigger one of these Okay, the Bessemer process apparently has been completed. More rail transportation wouldn't add up. Let's close this government light. Look at the money we're making now. Really good. We have an arts academy. Oh, it's about to be constructed, okay. The food industry hasn't been built yet. The furniture, we'll leave it as it is. The paper mills. We don't have sulfur yet. For the steel mill to do Bessemer process, it would reduce the price of steel. It would increase the price of iron, and I do like that. For urban centers to get public trams, yes, yeah, still not the right time to do it. Patronage for the Arts Academy. Capitalist bourgeoisie patronage to get more capitalist in or independent. Let's do the bourgeoisie. Right, just get more capitalists and aristocrats within the university, I guess it's good. Not sure traditional versus realism what it would do, but we're gonna wait until it's completed and we'll see it there. We have some skyscrapers. Can we construct this? No, it's potential urban buildings. So if I go somewhere around here, no, it doesn't show anything yet. Customs Union, okay. Damage relations, I see nothing here that I want. Okay, now since we are making this much money, let's see if we can go back down in taxes we're not gonna make as much money but I feel like this might be good for us branching out yeah start giving some of these away I'll wait until we have more businesses constructed I would like to make more money out of those the price of iron has once again gone down which is unfortunate Apparently the logging industry is losing money right now. 
But the big advantage on this is that we are going to be producing now more through furniture. I'll stop uh, building logging camps. And we're just gonna focus on these ones. Let's make the Arts Academy first. And then let's do the food industries. Rifling has been unlocked. I could even do a, a munition factory somewhere, right? Yes, but it wouldn't necessarily catch a good price. Making small weapons is better. The bureaucratic struggles. Our efforts to pass the appointed bureaucrats law have run into several classic bureaucratic hurdles. Okay, lose some bureaucracy but get minus 20% with the enactment time and 10% chance. Sure, we will spare no expenses for this. It's giving us once again a little chance to, for success. Boiler explosion. Ooh. Okay, so there's a problem now in Kanto. More radicals in the trade unionists. Hmm. Let's give more power to the industrialists. It's very unfortunate, but what can you do? Shikoku now is back. I think we can cancel. Yeah, they're back. They have more shipyard building through output, which makes me think that I should start working on that. Like these regions, I see no other bonuses around here. Expensive government tools, apparently that's what we should be investing on next. Let's see, so I'm going to build the food industry, the arts academy, then we'll have some paper meals, then we'll have another government administration. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be built. Now I'm starting to lose money again, that is okay for now. Yeah, there's a huge price for tools and almost paper. Insufficient taxation capacity, look at that. Kanto. Now in the Kanto region, if I take a look at the government building, and if I go to the next level, it would increase the price Let's see, so it's minus 1.17k, it says. Let's see what happens here. We're actually getting less losses. Because we've got closer to taxing enough. Shipyards are fully employed in Kyushu, good. Now these buildings, these buildings are fully employed. I could start making rifles, which would decrease the price of small arms. It would raise the price of steel. You know what? I do like that. Our steel business was struggling a bit. But we can go up here in prices quite a bit. Let's go with four, no, two levels of steel mill. Let's start with that. As far as research go, let's go with nitroglycerin next. It's 30 months and it gives us a chance to discover some resources. If we take a look at these lands, discoverable resources. We have here discoverable resources. So we have about two territories with discoverable resources. Red tape. The civil service currently read by the shogunate are deliberately stalling the government by creating unnecessary paperwork. Unacceptable. Get back to work. Lose some bureaucracy. And reduce the enactment success chance by 15%. 
or give power to the Shogunate. Unacceptable. We're losing, of course, a lot of bureaucracy there, but I can't give the Shogunate any more power. I want them to lose power right now. Which is why I'm working towards this. Might be a good idea to stop it, but since we are here, I'm just gonna keep trying. Okay, all of a sudden we are losing a lot of cash. Why is that? I guess I'll go back up in taxes. The gamble. Shigeto Okubo, leader of the intelligentsia, has been openly preaching about the benefits of our mysterious and secret political gamble can bring to the government. When asked for details, he smiles coyly, refused to elaborate. How bad can it be? What an utterly ludicrous idea. I am not sure exactly what he's trying to do. But let's see, how can how bad can it be? Let's see what that event is about. Yeah, we're losing a lot of money over here. Let's take a look at government goods. So we're losing a lot of cash, especially in papers. Okay, you know what? Let's go to construction. Oh, we're about to construct the paper mills. That is good. We have some changes that we can make. Now the food industries is making some money. If we go to canneries, it would make more groceries happen. It would cost some iron, cost some fish. You know what? I do like that. Pot stills. Produce more liquor, but less groceries. And it would cost us more sugar, which we do not have right now. Furniture, yeah, we know about this. Let's see, anything else that I need to know? Nothing here, okay, let's see. Now, do I want to start adding some engines over here? Intensive, intensive grazing, we will need... Oh, okay, we can make some fertilizers. Some natural fertilizers over here. It would cost us a bit more grain, but it would also make us more fabric. So we're gonna go with intensive. Let's provide some transportation here to both the coal mines. And I guess that's it for now. Logging camps, they might want it. Gamble was a success. A dramatic scheme in our capital has just come to fruition. Now it's been revealed. The plot obviously had its risks and flaws, but no one can deny that it's paid off handsomely for the intelligentsia this time. The intelligentsia will reap the rewards, getting more political strength, or the nation will reap its rewards by getting more authority. Let's do political strength. If we take a look now at the government, okay, the shogun is starting to go down. I'm almost thinking that I should start bolstering here. We're losing a lot in tax waste, I see. So that's why the cash gone down, because we're losing a lot in tax waste. Inefficient agriculture. Okay, we should follow their advice or they serve our purpose. They serve our purpose. Let's leave it at that for now. More prices on glass. Should I continue over here? It almost seems like we're not making any kind of progress. So let's stop for now. Getting some bureaucracy back would mean that we're getting a lot of cash back. Yeah, would love to work on that more, but if we can't, we just can't. 
total separation of church and state, not necessarily something I want, national supremacy, or go with cultural exclusion or racial segregation. No, we'll just leave national. Traditionalism over here. We can't go to agrarianism yet. It has quite the same problem as earlier. It's being opposed by the Shogunate. But there's a good chance here that it will... There's a better chance that this will be implemented. Here we lose some taxation, but also gain a bit of bureaucracy. Can subsidize infrastructure and trade centers. Let's just go, let's try to get agrarianism going here for us. I mean, we really have to go with the political game here in order to try to take the Shogunate out of the current party and bring back the Emperor. I am constructing another, we're constructing an academy, an arts academy here. Which means that we are going to be probably getting some money, let's see. Employment, yeah, getting everything that we probably would have wanted. Realism would produce more fine art, but would consume a little bit more paper. Not doing a whole lot with the fine art, from what I can see. Do Can I export fine art? Is that a thing? I mean, nobody wants to buy them. Okay, prices have gone up for uh, dyes and a few other things. Soil and reaching... Soil and reaching seems to be the way to go. Let's do this. Let's increase that. Definitely need to make some... Some more farms or more industries to produce fertilizers as well. But expanding on the cattle farm seems like a good idea. We're now making more paper. I feel like we could, since we are at the middle of the road with our tax reserves, I feel like we could go down in taxes again. Let's see, in our journal, do we have anything else? We have rifling, which means that we would need to build an arms industry building, okay? To level three. I think we can do that. This has 8 years, this has... will time out in 8 weeks. Okay, I guess we have to pick... to make sure that we are expanding this on a few of our mines. I will pick rifling as well. Let me go to our businesses and say that for these I want rail transportation. And on our plantations, dye plantation catches a good price right now. What is the price of tea? Let's take a quick look. The price of tea... There is some demand for it. Silk? Silk has a really good price. So, tea, silk... And we shall see what else. If we make a lot of clothes right now, we have a huge supply of fabric. We could make more clothes. Okay, well, let's take a look here. We'll, let's put down... 
in the tea plantations, we'll do rail transportation, and also in the silk ones. Let's see. This does this do it? Yes. Branching out was completed. Let's see. Railroad boo. The growth of a branch line along the main rail routes has Im immensely invaluable to the growth of the burgeoning, burgeoning rail industry. It's like I almost don't know how to read this. More railway throughput, more to the motor industries or get further progress into the steel railway cars. Let's do more railway throughput. We're making really good money right now. Now let's go medium in taxes, as I said. We don't want all of that cash. I mean, we, you don't want to hit the cap in cash reserves. Okay, fertilizer has stabilized. Defamatory article. We can suppress it or ignore it. In, reduce the standard of living for Ainu in Hokkaido. Sure, I think they're good. Yeah, they're good. What is this? Russia wishes to enter a defensive pact with us. I do accept that. Look at this, the Taiping Peasant Revolt. 559 battalions. Okay, this is the next one. Let's take a look at the events. Is there anything else that's t timing out? No, for the moment we just need to make the arms industries to level 3. And after these paper mills, let's see, next page. And I almost feel like I should be building another one. I should be dis expanding these construction offices at least one more time. If I do iron frames, we would definitely lose a lot more cash. We would get more construction and a lot of straight construction efficiency. Tools prices will go up. Iron will start to go up as well in price. Fabric and wood would decrease though. So I'm not sure we can take that risk yet. Claiming that the enactment of agrarianism would be affected by the country's Han inhabitants is disproportionately negative way. Mm, don't care about the Han people. Okay, 17.3. 70% 70 success. That is definitely going better. More battalions in reserve, okay. Expensive goods, manowars, small arms market and opium. Am I still trading manowars? I think I am. Let's go to our trade. Trade routes. Do I need to open it? I guess we do. What was I selling? Manowars, right? Yeah. Making some money out of it, but let's remove it and sell it internally. Okay, it is a bit weird that we have to expand here because I'm not sure of everything that we are selling. More paper on the way, we're making good money. Small arms on the Russian market it would be good. So more manowars and more arms. So let's see, rifling in seven years. We're building it up now. I just saw 
shortage on transportation. I see. So with the shortage on transportation, I do not know if this is a good idea to leave them on this. They would make more money if we do not. Not so much on the dyes, but definitely on the tea plantations. And not so much on the silk plantations. I guess we do need to expand our businesses a lot more. And let us expand this a few more times. I'll do another one in Kansai in Chubu. Okay, we have a new research. What was that? Psychiatry. Minus 5 to bureaucracy, population cost multiplier and more influence. Great. I don't really know how to use this. If I was to, for example, go here and be like declare rivalry or open diplomacy. Are you not under the... No, you are still a tributary there. But apparently I can't... Remove things here. I can't remove him from... Or... Do I see a release... A liberate or something? Rivalry... Nope, I do not see it. Liberate subject. Relation between Japan and the Great Qing are too high to do this. At the start of the play we will face these enemies. So definitely Russia, Austria and Great Qing. Huh. Okay. So they have good diplomatic relations here for us not to be able to do that. Okay. Maybe I could... What if I wanted, for example, to declare war here? I think we have to change our diplomatic place. Declare interest. Let's see if we can declare interest over here. And as soon as this is done, let's see if we can... Maybe declare war. Somewhere here. We now have finally, we now have finally reached agrarianism, which is beautiful. Some people are happy with us, some people are unhappy with us, but this should remove some of this power. Now he has more power from monarchy, hereditary bureaucrats and serfdom. Plus the local police force. Let's take a look at the what else we have here. National autocracy, freedom of conscience. Would if we go with state religion, it would give more power to the priests. Appointed bureaucrats. There's an eight percent chance that this will work, so we can try that again. Local police force, okay. We could go with a dedicated police force. This one has a good idea as well. So local police force, remove some state penalties from turmoil. This one would reduce the radicals from standard of living and minus 15% to penalties from turmoil. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to try to go for next. Rights of assembly, I do not care for that. Serfdom, we can't abolish it. Or, it's actually not that bad of a chance. It's a 16% chance here. What would it do? 
unlocks multiple new production methods. So in surf, instead of serfdom, which this allows laissez-faire, interventionism and command economy. Okay, we're gonna try this. It might fail terribly. If I go for abolishing it, Shogunate? Oh, this will radicalize both the Samurai and the Shogunate right now. That is not good. I mean, the Samurai are here, that's not a problem, but radicalizing the Shogunate would mean that they would move into the opposition directly. If I try to change this government, yeah. We can almost guarantee that we will get some sort of a revolution or something. Can't do that just yet. Breeding and education. This agreement between the Shogunate and the Intelligentsia are causing conflicts in the government. Nobles must accept that they are behind the times. Sure, we'll do that. Now we are selling a lot of luxury goods, but we would get even more here, I feel, through our very own market. But it's a lot of cash that we would be losing. Plus 25 resource discovery chance, beautiful. And let's see what else we get here as unlocking goods. For the steel mills, going for water boilers, apparently it's not that interesting yet. The price of fine art is interesting. We could produce more fine art and I feel like that could be a good idea, why not? Make money while we can. A munitions plant could be useful. Going for soil enriching here in the grains industry, I feel like we could do it now. Could make a bit more money out of going this way with the condensed engine pumps. Let's do that. Using nitroglycerin, well, we don't have explosives right now to do it. Okay, we're not producing anything else that I see of value. Now the cool thing about having railways and setting it on the buildings is that you can see we have now built trains and they're going all around the businesses and the places where you've set them up. And this is really cool. I do like how the city grows and the railways are being constructed. Raising concerns. The Buddhist monks have expressed their concerns about the decision to clearly favor the interests of the industrialists. Sure, this needs to be addressed, let's say that for now. Okay, we're constructing the second level here of the weapons manufactory. And I feel like they're still good, right? Yeah, they catch a good price overall in rifling. The price of steel apparently has gone up a lot. We have a new production for the glassworks. Cool. Do I want to expand the steel mill? I feel like I should, just to make sure that we are profitable overall. We need to expand the steel mill. I am going to prioritize the construction sectors first and the steel mill next. Let's see. Go to the first page. Let's have the arms industry, then the steel, then the construction sector. We need to construct or research a new thing. Which will be what? 
more minting for more money, more infrastructure would be interesting to have as well, especially now that we're expanding. Military I do not care for right now. Getting fractional distillation unlocks patent steels for food industries. Leads to baking powder and rubber mastication. Steel railway cars for more steel. Reinforced concrete, okay. I could do dynamite as well, but it takes five years. I'm not sure. I feel like these ones will take so much less. Let's get ourselves a modern sewage. Still have a lot of infrastructure in some places because of our railway system. Prices for explosives have gone up. Can I do the like there's such a good chance here, but that radicalization of the two main powers within our country is a bit unfortunate. Per capita taxation. Okay, so the predicted revenue between land-based taxation and per capita taxation is about six. And I feel like this might be good for the future. Land-based taxation you might want just very early on. After that, it's not interested anymore. Buddhist monks, peasants and trade unionists would like to go for no colonial affairs. And so would I. If I was to bring in government like the Buddhist monks. Yeah, it has a huge impact over there. Probably we would have to remove someone else from it. Shall I try this again? Let's try this again. Before anything else, we're gonna get going one more time with this one. Tools and papers once again have gone up in prices. There's some British interests in the Sea of Japan, okay. We have a few port connections here, okay. Rifling has been completed. Modernizing the arsenal. The change in large scale production for smoothbore muskets to rifles in the arms industry in Shukoku has ushered in a new era for small arms production in the Japanese shogunate. Get more output and migration attraction, or get technology repeaters. Let's go with this one. More output to the small arms industry. Could even make more line infantry around here because they wouldn't be as expensive as they were. Now I'm making steel mills, we'll have two more construction sectors soon, another government administration which will provide us with 50 bureaucracy, which is better than none. Might want to even increase that, like develop it. Boiler explosion. How very unfortunate. More support for the industrialists, sure. There's... We're losing some bureaucracy from minority protests, okay? And dealing with corruption. We're having a 10% tax waste just from that. How much need there is for wood... Wow, 
they're definitely i think the russians are really working a lot they're constructing a lot because this need all of a sudden is so high the, there's a lot of fabric going on and not enough in the clothes industry If I would like to construct Iron Frames buildings, would I tank too much of our economy? Like, what are we taxing now? We're taxing normally. Shogun intervenes. Yeah, let's do Shogun's will be done. That's a 20% chance to implement this. Cool, fine, the price for fine arts have gone down. Could put some taxes here for some luxury goods, but I don't feel like that is the way forward. Okay, I am going to do something that might seem a bit counterproductive, but I feel like it's going to pay off in the long run. So rather than constructing two more sectors there, I will be going for construction and we're gonna go for iron frames. As I said, this might be a mistake here. But I feel like with this amount of construction, it might actually pay off. We're making more money now. I think we're making more money because the price of wood has gone down. Yeah, we made more money for a second there. But I could go up in taxes. And this should really pay off. Like you can see now we have a lot more potential for construction and thus building our industrial power should be going a lot better. Okay, I feel like we're making progress here. I hope you believe the same. Let's remove. I see that the arts are not doing too well. So rather than going for realism and use more paper Let's go for traditional art. And look at that. Look how much money we're... <laughs> look at this graph. Look at this bug. <laughs> the increase and decrease in balance has been so high that it leaves the graph even. Okay, price of coal has gone up. Price of lead and steel has gone down. Let's take a look at some of our buildings and see what can we do here. Now, taking some of these... Yeah, going for precision tools here seems to be like a better idea. Glass works. Use more lead. I could do leaded glass. Do I have lead mines yet? I don't think I do, right? No, I do not. I'm just gonna go for, once again, atmospherics. Okay, I do like the potential for building. Like, look at the amount of cash we are making now. Let's go down in taxes. Increasing the government wages might be good as well. Low market access in a few territories, Kansai, Shikoku and Tong. Kansai and Shikoku are the most important one here. Okay, well, let's say that I would like you to get road maintenance. Uh, what was it? Kansai and Shikoku. Is this better? It is better, but we're getting less market overall. Streamers in Russia, so they've already got the steamers. Tools and paper.
Did the world just invent like some sort of meridian or what is this about? Who knows? To the outside, observer, the intelligentsia may appear firmly committed to the appointment of bureaucrats, but they are not, huh? Yes, loosen the purse a bit. I mean, do not decrease our chances like that. We're really struggling to implement things here. Okay, things are starting to look up, our businesses are growing overall. We have more development power. I think we would like to construct, or I would like to construct another construction building. And I'll be placing it... Let's place it in Kanto. Maybe with one more construction... We can get ourselves to... 40 and maybe 40 will build two buildings at once or will, it will be the most efficient way to construct I do not know at the moment I'm just imagining embargo on Prussia that's okay we're losing a little bit of money but that is not important like we could do a lot more Okay, just by two points. It increased it by only two points, but I'm guessing it's gonna raise up. What are you missing here? Coal and glass. And coal. It's mostly coal. Okay. Well, my friend. Let's see. Coal industry. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, now we've reached 39, so we're working on three buildings at once. That is taking a toll on our economies. But let's make sure that we are building these coal industries first. The price of silk has gone up a lot. 68 to 63. Still a high price. Paper mills, well... You'll be getting some production bonuses soon. Construction sector at max level. Good. So this will provide us with the infrastructure we would need. Yeah, and now there's no more penalties from lack of access in the markets. Okay. Minting. Get a bit more from mints. Probably. Or spend nine years to research taxation. I feel like that is too much. Chemical bleaching or mechanized workshop. Plus 10 economy of scale building level cap. Let's try this. Getting some mechanized looms and sewing machines and workshops might be better for the production of some of the clothes that we need. Yeah, all of these territories, like, they really want coal. They're missing coal. Don't worry, I'm about to bring it to you. Price of dice have gone up, price of engines have gone up. How is our industry, our transport industry right now? Our transport industry is lacking some goods, but other than that, it's very profitable. We can have it run by the government instead of the capitalists. But we'll just leave it as it is. It has been revealed that the leader of the Buddhist monks have been having a secret affair with a member of the clergy. What are you? You are a pacifist. Okay, well, ignore it. We'll do ignore it then. We will spare no offense. We, will, we could lose more bureaucracy. To enact it quicker. Let's say we will spend no 
expense for that. Now, because we're getting a lot of penalties now, yeah, we have some tax waste there. Let's make sure we have enough goods here. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer to filling out our demand. Price of steel has gone down. Argentina refused to become the protectorate of Russia. Really? They've gone so far. What's going on within the US, United States and the Confederate States of America and Afro-American uprising? Okay, really curious to see what's going to happen there. Canada is staying strong. Actually, it's now Canada. It's no longer the company, something of a company. I do not remember exactly its name. Okay, the Ottomans. The Ottomans apparently lost... They've lost it Eastern Thrace and Constantinople to Egypt. I mean, I love Paradox Interactive games for these kind of weird events that can happen. Interesting. Okay, well, unfortunately this is all the time that we have for today. Now we're gonna come back tomorrow with a new episode and we're gonna continue our expansion within the world and see if we can become a superpower. At this moment we are getting closer to removing hereditary bureaucrats and maybe that will even turn against the shogunate losing more power and then finally make ourselves free of them and become an empire. Until next time, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.